Am I in a good frame? Yeah. Am I in a good frame of mind? Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's something different. Okay, look there. Ah. You look like your brother when your hair is long. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. That means you look like your brother when your hair is long. Oh, my baby. Mm. Mm. Well, you look like your brother when your hair is long as well. Does not make any sense. Yeah. Guys, welcome to Smash the Crate, the monthly series where I try everything in this month's keto crate with my husband and normally my mom. Unfortunately, she couldn't be here today because she works for a major package carrier in the United States and uh, it's Christmas, so she be working. You know what I'm saying? That means I have to hold us down for the both of us. Yay. I know, right? That's that's my face too. Ah. Yay! Okay, so there were a lot of good things in this month's keto crate, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. The first thing that I want to try is smorgasbord. Yeah. Okay. Look at this, Big John's original beef jerky. I know, right? Big John's original beef oh, jerky. You had me at big. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. It looks tough and chewy, which you know I love my beef jerky to, to be. I don't mind all beef jerky. Okay. Tough and or chewy and or others. Yeah, so it just Ooh, looks nice. like yeah. it's little strips. It looks like little strips, yeah, exactly. So very cool. Yeah, okay. Is there a flavor? Oh, no, it's just original. Just all right. Kind of looks like a bacon, and I'm not mad at that either. Oh, so oh, like the, yeah. like the, thank you. That's a cow yeah. with a really big face. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's ready? go. Mm-hmm. Mm. Tough, chewy meat. Tier two. Yeah. I mean, I wish there was more flavor in it. It's really just, like, mm -hmm. super unflavored, but tier two. Tastes like it's beef. wonderful meat. I could it's wonderful with, meat. Yeah. With some more salt or some kind of, could get a little salty or something like that. I don't know. Too. Thank you, Big John. <laughs> Next, we're going to go for these pork and good Ooh. dill pickle pork rinds. <gasps> we talked about these before. We literally we? just talked about these. Uh-oh. Yep. Uh-oh. We must be listening. Mm, so, must be listening in So very that. dilly. Like I said, pork and good tends to have strong flavor in whatever mm -hmm. they do. So. Well, you absolutely love the butter. Yes, I do. That is my and favorite pork rind. I absolutely love rind. the pizza. Mm-hmm. So let's try the dill and pickle. And we both like the dill pickle, yeah. Well, we've tried it before? Mm-hmm. We have. I think we have. I thought this is the one we haven't tried yet. Oh my God, this might be the one we haven't yes. tried. Well, I'm assuming it's going to taste just like dill pickle oh because goodness. that's what their <laughs> things taste like. Okay, let's, let's go. Let's do this. Mm-hmm. Mm. Very dill. Look at that vinegary punch. Mm-hmm. Which is why it's a tier three for me. Like. Oh. I love that vinegary punch. This tastes like dill and vinegar. And if you like that on your pork rinds, you will like it. The only place I like dill pickles is on dill pickles. So <laughs> it's on dill pickles? Yeah, like I only like it's dill pickles. On, dill pickle flavor, on the pickle. Exactly. So I mean these taste just like dill yes. pickle, but I don't like pickle flavored chips, no, pickle flavored you. anything. I don't like pickle flavored mm -hmm. things. I like pickles. You know? So for well, me that's really a tier three, but Mm, it's okay. Deli meat. <laughs> deli meat, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, tier two for really me. Really good with deli meat. Yeah, absolutely. Next, we're going to try, to be honest, that might have been all of the savory things in here, uh, so I'm really excited. Well, I'm out of here. <laughs> Next, we're going to try <laughs> niche cakes. You'll like this because Ooh. it's raspberry and cream. <sighs> I know, you right? You love raspberry. Do I love or raspberry? Yeah, or do one you of us love do. raspberry? Yeah. One of us do, and since we're married, it's both of us. That's not how that works. <laughs> uh, nush cakes are very yeah, flaxy. Yeah, there we go. Give me half of that. Yeah. Are yeah. they very like flaxy Ooh. and, and kind of gummy? Look I like the texture though. Things. Yeah. Mm hmm. It's very thick and oaty kind and you of. You said it's raspberry? Yep. Okay, yeah. let's go. Let's do this. Mm hmm. It's gritty, mm. flaxy. Mm-hmm. It's a little. The first time I had a niche cake, I was like, oh, this is a weird texture, but like, this is the texture of a niche cake. But the flavor's good. I loved it. Yeah, I, that, I mean, niche cakes are tier two for yeah, me. I was gonna say two as well. Yeah, I don't mind the texture. A lot mm -hmm. of people don't like it. I don't mind the texture, the grittiness. I mean, it, it is what it is, mm -hmm. you know? So I appreciate that. 
So uh, Nush Cakes are yes, tier, two. A tier two. <laughs> Next, we're going to try the cookie department cakewalk. Ooh. We've had this well, recently. That's the size of our head. No, well, we've had this recently, and I was not impressed. What? It's yeah. the size of our head. No, it is sad. Also, look, it is split right down the middle. Oh, I can tell. No. I can tell that it was broken, like when I opened <sighs> it. So this is. You need to ship it with like cardboard around both sides. So yeah, to like once keep again. It insulated. It's crumbly and it only has like the blue sprinkles on it. So, I what mean. What is the blue sprinkle for? Like, because it's supposed to be like birthday cake. We ready? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. It doesn't mm. taste bad. It tastes very almondy and erythritol-y and vanilla-y. So you get that cooling sensation. Exactly. That's the erythritol. Mm -hmm. mm, I'm learning stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Average. This is a tier three for me. Mm -hmm. Only because there are a lot of other keto cookies that I like better than this. Mm -hmm. The flavor's not that bad. It's just really plain. It's just like almonds and erythritol, yes. you know? So these are just salted walnuts. Mm -hmm. I know, I right? Walnuts. Me too. And there's not like a crazy flavor on them. There's mm -hmm. no garlic or, you know, jalapeno or anything. Mm, these are just walnuts. Mm. Sea salt walnuts. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and they look pretty. Yeah. And it does say there's a little bit of rosemary mm -hmm. on them. So mm -hmm. maybe we'll get some rosemary, but I don't know. These are just walnuts. Mm. I do get rosemary. Mm. I don't know. I just get good walnut. Yeah, me Honestly, right I wish they were a little saltier. I can concur. But they do taste just like walnuts, which is good. Basically. That's a tier two for me. You can make them savory or sweet. Yeah. Mm. I'm definitely not going out of my way to buy gourmet walnuts but these are delicious oh, is that it? yeah i would say a tier say three no i said two okay i'll say two as well yeah i don't mind them next we are having a raw rev glow bar <gasps> creamy peanut butter and sea salt Ooh, i love peanut butter yeah i know right but the thing about raw rev glow bars is that the uh -oh. flavor is very subtle so you may or may not appreciate it exactly <clears throat> Everyone, my husband loves a good subtle flavor. It depends on the mood. Mm -hmm. It depends on the mood. Um, to me, <laughs> you remember the last time we saw these? Because we've seen these before. I said it looked like a poop because mm -hmm. it, it's just little squatty and you know, like thick. I mean, it does look like a poop no, in my it opinion. Does not. It looks like a wonderful. But you can see that it has. Glow bar. <laughs> you can see that it has like chia seeds and other things. Mm -hmm. It's a very mild tasting bar, mm. but it's good. Okay. All right, here we go. It tastes faintly of peanut butter. Yes, it really does. I knew it. I mean, I knew what to expect. Mm. Yeah, no, this is way too faint for me. Yeah, Raw Rib Glow Bars are tier three for me. Like, definitely, mm -hmm. there's a lot of other bars on top of it. I don't dislike them, but... Yes. The flavor is just too subtle for it's me. It's one of those things where it can definitely blend into the crowd. Okay, next, something I'm super excited to try. Monk Pack Keto Nut and Seed Bar. Mm -hmm. Now, this is going to be all about texture. This is sea salt dark chocolate. Okay. So, yeah, there I am go. I am really excited about this because Count we've had these before us. as well, and I know they're delicious. Mm -hmm. mm, that looks mm -hmm. great. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, look at that texture. Like you can just see the almonds mm. on there. Yeah. I know. Okay. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm oh yeah. Oh yeah. I love it. Sweet. It's chocolatey. I absolutely love it. Yeah. This it's is tier every, one. This is everything I could dream of. <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> have monk, monk pack. pack. I love monk pack. We received them in a keto crate a long Zero time one ago. For me as well. I had never heard of them before then. Mm -hmm. Monk Packs, they have so many different types of bars, and they're all delicious. Mm. Tier 1. I love Monk Packs. You so. had me at so many types. <laughs> Next, we have Hecka Good Bars. Mm, I think we love these, I right? know. No. <laughs> exactly. We don't, we don't generally love Hecka Good Bars, but this one is chocolate sea salt, so maybe I'll like it because it's chocolate. But there we go. We just generally haven't had the best track record with heck of good bars. I, think I mean, that's what it is. Look, they're just like, they're so shiny and oily. Oh, yes, but... I remember the sheen now. Exactly. So. Oh, I remember flashbacks. Yes. Okay. All right. 
Here, I want the one with yeah, the chocolate yeah, chunk in it. Yeah, give the one that's the smallest. Thank okay. You. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. There's just a bitterness and a saltiness. It is chocolate sea salt, mm-hmm. but they don't mix. I mean, it's definitely one of those things that if you hungry. No, I mean, that's a tier three. There ain't nowhere, ain't no food ever, <laughs> ain't no food else to be found. That's a tier just three for me because it just sticking to my mouth. there are just so many other bars I like ahead of that. But like, if this was the last bar on earth, you well, know, I'd eat it, but. I mean, it does its job. I feel like full up now. <laughs> just for that one now, bite. Yeah. It is just like Ooh. very heavy. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And it sticks to your, the roof of your mouth and Ooh. it sticks to your teeth and everything. Yeah. But like not in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So you know yes, what? I would say tier three is Do you one. know what I think we need after that to clear What's our up? palate? What's up? Ice chips. Oh my These gosh. These things are oh so good, you guys. Do you remember when we had these? I think I do. Mm-hmm. They, they were really are cool. delicious. They're more like ice shards, you mm-hmm. know, like they're just all weird shapes mm-hmm. and things like that. Mm. Oh, Look at that, like uh, broken glass. I absolutely love it. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't love broken glass, but yes, we got a point. <laughs> Food that looks like broken yeah. glass is cool, though. Okay. There we go. Mm. Mm. Comment down below. Are you team like crunch or like team let dissolve? You know. Well, I think it depends on my mood. Mm. Mm. Makes me have flashbacks of me sitting in church or something right now. It does <laughs> because you guys, mom, it tastes just like not, a peppermint. No, no, no. Like I mean, these are so good. Like hard candy is generally not something you can come by on keto. Mm-hmm. These are delicious. Like, these Absolutely. are tier one for I me. I would say tier one Yeah, well. I mean, because there's nothing that. else like it. Mm-hmm. Oh, these are so good. I absolutely love them. Mm-hmm. So, and didn't that just clear the, the bitter, know, salty right? chocolate mm. out of your like mouth? Heck of what? <laughs> it's a heck of hoop. Only for us to put more chocolate right back to where it was. Yeah. So, this is rosschocolates.ca. So, apparently, this is a Canadian chocolate company. Ooh, I know, right? Fancy. Exactly. Canadian. Like we get our chocolates imported. Exactly. Ew. Ew. <laughs> well, when you say it like that. Is it? Uh, oh, my gosh. Okay. They're so cute. Okay. I like that they're not individually wrapped so Ooh. that you can just grab one. easily grab one. Okay. See, look, they just look like squares. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, not too bad. Little thin little. Okay. Let go. I'm, I'm, I'm going to bite the whole thing. Okay, You're probably yeah, just going to take it. Yeah. The, the peppermint's strong. I don't mm-hmm. want to absorb a lot. That tastes good. Mm-hmm. We had Ross chocolates before, mm-hmm. and I think they were dark chocolate, mm-hmm. so they were really bitter. Mm-hmm. But these, the milk chocolate ones, are really good. Oh, yeah. These are tier two. I'm not ordering something from Canada. You know what I'm saying? But... Somebody sent me these. Like these are delicious. So I would say tier one, if we can somehow go up to Canada and like buy a lot of them. <laughs> so these are good. Yes, yeah. they're really good. Way to go, Ross Chocolates. Well, you just, it tastes like the regular store. Like real candy. chocolate. Yep. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Next, what we're gonna try something I've never heard of before, but what? I'm really excited. You haven't heard of Better something. than good keto chocolate crunch. Like from what I can tell. These are just like Nestle Crunch Bars. These, this is also broken. I feel like somebody ran, <laughs> yeah, like ran the keto crate, you know, like off well, the back well, of the truck or something been like a while that. Since we had a keto crate. Exactly. Like it, this got lost in the mail. Like I'm saying, it was in somebody's corner somewhere. Even though it's broken, and I'm crushed because it's broken. It looks mm-hmm. nice, doesn't it? Look just like that a Nestle Crunch cool. Bar. What's the packaging again? Better than Better good than snacks. Good. Great hmm. snacks. I like it. Okay. All right. I'm excited. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Okay. Nestle Crunch Bob. Mm hmm. Nope. Delicious. Oh, yeah. Is that rice crispy or that? Some sort of puff. Mm. It's probably some sort of protein puff. That's the crunch. Mm hmm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Just like a Nestle Crunch. Wow. Well, I have to say. Is it milk chocolate, dark chocolate? Because this is not bitter at all. It tastes a little milky. Yeah. Mm. That's great. Mm. Tier I one. I have to agree. Whoa. That's a tier one too. Is that no. Canadian as well? No. No. <laughs> but like, like for like the, the, the Nestle crunch factor, yeah. as in like, 
you can't get anything else like that. Like I mm. enjoyed the crap out of that. Mm. That was amazing. That was really good. Mm -hmm. Way to go, better Tito than good. Warm. Okay, the next thing I'm excited to try is this these pure brownies. So I've already made them. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I know, right? What? Was brownies the magic of television, right? And you made brownies? What yeah. was this? She snuck his at me, everybody. He was right there as I was making I them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So look, they already cut them up. They look just like regular brownie pieces, you know? Oh, that's so cute. So yeah, that's exciting. So that's like the corner and this is the edge. Wait, which one's the corner? This one? This one is the corner. Okay, you, know. you love the corner. I do love the corners. Okay, but, and it's, it's like, it. look. It's crumbly and, and a gooey, just like a brownie. I know. I okay. like the texture. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Tastes just like a brownie. Mm -hmm. It's a little coconutty because it you you needed three tablespoons of oil and I used coconut oil. Mm -hmm. Maybe I could have used butter, but it said oil, so in my mind immediately went to coconut oil. Well, but it tastes good. I enjoy I mean, it. It is gooey. Mm. Mm -hmm. There's no cooling after effect. This is pure? Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah, Boy, like... pure. Yeah, I mean, these are delicious. I agree. Tier one, probably tier two, because I think the baking mix was, like, really expensive, and... Oh. But taste no, tier one. I was just going to say that. As far as the taste goes, it mm -hmm. is tier one brownie. Mm. You get that crispy the crust texture, on the texture, yeah. I mean, that that is just... A real like brownie texture. Inside? That is oh. a winner. <laughs> okay, last but not least. So I saved this for last. Okay. Keto Farms Butter Toffee Peanuts. Ooh. I saved these for last because I've never had them before. And they sounded so intriguing. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, please be good. Please be good. Please be good. So, so that's what we're doing right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that they're good. Okay, so let's take a look at them. Okay. Oh, wow. Well, firstly, very, I could say, yeah, a little bit disappointing because these look like caramelized and yes. crackly, and these look dusty, like powdery, <laughs> you know? So, let's see. Mm -hmm. Can you get that? Can yeah. Get that? Oh, perfect. So, well, I'll take two a little bit of a difference powder. there, but let's see how they taste. Okay. Let's go. I definitely get butter toffee vibes mm -hmm. though. Not as strong a flavor as I would like. Yeah, I'll have to agree with that as well. Um, but they taste good. These are a tier two for me. You send these to me, I'm eating them all day. Yeah, I would say tier three. They're mm. a little bit dry, not as flavorful as I would like. Yeah. But they're definitely dry yeah. and powdery, not mm -hmm. like candied and sticky. Like this makes yeah. you this makes you think they're oh, like right. sticky, you know? <laughs> so the the pack of the picture does not do yeah. justice. It's not the same as what's on the inside, but what's on the inside does taste good. Mhm. Mm uh but I mean, yeah, overall tier 2. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. That is everything. Overall, this was a great keto crave. I liked it. Yeah, it I really said nice. the only thing that I was a wee bit disappointed in was the mm -hmm. fact that like you wouldn't know this was a Christmas crate. Like there was no like oh. peppermint bark or anything like you. Christmas themed like a, that would like let a, you know. Like a new slip. Yeah, well no, the new slip uh, is Christmassy, but yeah, like none know. of the items in here. Because remember for Halloween, we mm -hmm. got those chocolate pumpkins, you know, like You're we right. did get seasonal stuff. So right. I would have liked to seen a seasonal item in here. Mm -hmm. I mean, in kind of the peppermint's track, well, you know. Gotcha. Maybe I was just wishing for chocolate. I don't know, there but regardless. Go. It was good. So there were definitely some winners. The chocolate was a winner. The crunch bar All was the a winner. Bars yeah. Were a winner. They were they were really good. I enjoyed the deal. The peppermint is so. always a winner. I mean, these things you can't find anything like it. <laughs> but the opening up there. The big I got a color you cut the thing on the bottom top part of it. Oh my god, see? There you go. That's the troublemaker right now. Oh my gosh. So yes, there was some good stuff. Yes. Stop trying to fish the jerky I out, was the out of the box. <laughs> oh my gosh. But do you know who's going to get to try all this stuff for Ooh. themselves? Whoever wins this month's Keto Cray. Uh-oh. And that person is... Uh -oh. oh my gosh. Oh my Look how normally my husband is looking at your name congratulating you. Send me an email to watchautumnketo at gmail.com with your name and address, and I will get you the December Keto Crate. Also, if you didn't win, 
don't worry, Christmas is still here for you. You can use the link in the description box below to get a discount on your very first keto crate. What? I know, I know, right? You're welcome, right? I know. Um, but Just overall, generosity. this was a great crate. I have loved receiving the Keto Crate in 2020, and I just look forward to what they're gonna do in 2021. Like, this is one of my favorite times of the month, mm, getting and trying the Keto Crate. I know, right? Uh, so thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you next month. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Good job, with jerky in your mouth. Yeah, Nobody jerky. told you to eat you another. You, you know not. the jerky's really chewy. You did not see the jerky. I did see the jerky. You had it in your cheeks. Mm, you said no. Like you want this big, one, sweetheart? You got your big sausage, you sausage hands. Oh, sausage fingers. Oh my gosh. God, this packaging it. don't. Okay, no, okay, it's, this it's astronaut they proof. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like they don't, they don't want you to eat Send it. Send that to the moon. Okay. Mm -hmm. If it was less grittier, more like a smart cake. Of course, it would then be a smart cake. So there's that. Don't be talking about smart cakes. Oh my god. <laughs> well, you are so cute. You are. Okay, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. But you are cute. No. <laughs> I love you, sweetie. I love you, baby mm -hmm. cakes. Bye. Uh.